This is Neil Osterweil. I'm speaking with Dr. Susan O'Brien from MD Anderson Cancer Center. Dr. O'Brien, could you please describe the, uh, your basic findings? We investigated a drug called PCI-32765, which is an inhibitor of Bruton's tyrosine kinase. The, that kinase is a very important signaling molecule in the B-cell receptor pathway. And we know that when you ligate the B-cell receptor in both normal and malignant cells, you give a strong survival signal to the cell. So if you could interfere with that, that obviously might be a good thing. This is an oral agent, uh, very potent, uh, can be given once a day. And what we showed is that with longer follow-up, and we have uh, two dose levels, 420 milligrams, which has a follow-up of about a year, and 840 milligrams, which has a follow-up of about nine months, we're showing that uh, the overall response rate in a fairly refractory, uh, relapsed, heavily pretreated population is about 70%. We've seen, of course, great successes with tyrosine kinase inhibitors in CML, a uh, different disease, uh, obviously. Is this analogous, uh, this compound, in this uh, patient no. population? No, it's really not. And what you have to remember is that in CML, uh, the kinases are targeting a molecular abnormality, namely the Philadelphia chromosome, that is the cause of that disease. We don't really know what's the cause of CLL, but what we do know is that CML is, is very different in that that is, an, is the only leukemia where you have a very specific cytogenetic abnormality that leads to the disease. So if you look at the cytogenetics in people with CLL, it's much more varied, although there are recurring abnormalities. So you're targeting an important survival signal for the cell, but I wouldn't say that's the same as targeting the molecular event that causes the disease. Very good, thank you, Dr. O'Brien. Thank you.